Horseshoe Crab Blood Harvest Technology How Horseshoe Crab Sustained Itself For Half A Billion Years The waters of Delaware Bears seem to be humble when the temperature is warm. Meanwhile, bizarre creatures appear playing with the seashores from the depth of the sand. This creature is called a horseshoe crab. These creatures spend most of their lives in the depths of the seas. Fertilization. These crabs admire spawning on the beach. They arrive on the beach in May when the moon is full. The eggs have the ability to survive even for a year, and only some of the eggs laid will get matured. This is like buying a bulk quantity of something that you can only find a few of with sustained quality. This is how they've been surviving for longer than dinosaurs. If you observe a fossil of these crabs that have aged millions of years, you'll probably consider it as a horseshoe of this era. At a time, these crabs almost went to extinction because in the early 1900s, these were being harvested for the production of fertilizer. That practice met an end, but now it's being continued for hunting purposes of several animals and pharmaceutical uses because the drops of blood of these crabs contain an element that's best for the analysis of vaccines and drugs. To ensure that these animals shouldn't face extinction, a yearly survey is carried out around the beaches by scientists and researchers residing in the areas. This is done to learn about their population. The research is super easy and intriguing for the researchers who are equipped with some documents and a square that helps them to count the number of crabs that fall in it during their survey. The population in Delaware Bear seems to be appreciating and growing. Like the crabs, millions of birds also show up to these beaches. The crabs are here for mating, but the birds are here to graze the leftovers of these crabs that are left during their mating. We mean the birds graze their eggs 
As you're looking, these tiny greenish particles are the perished eggs of these horseshoe crabs. A vast majority population of these migratory birds are depending on the leftover eggs of these crabs. And this is why they set on a journey in the mile to get to the beaches where the mating of these crabs is done. These birds fly from the southern tip of South America to the Arctic, which is a journey of 9,000 miles just for these eggs. Prior to their arrival, these birds resemble to be skinny, but now you can also observe them after their post-arrival. See how they have built a great body by consuming the eggs of these crabs on Delaware Bay. For those who are confused regarding Delaware Bay, it's located in the United States particularly, the inlet of the North Atlantic Ocean, on the northeast coast of the United States, forming part of the New Jersey-Delaware state border. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for receiving updates regarding farming videos. And let us know in the comment section which video you most like in our channel. This species of crab, known as the horseshoe crab, has sustained itself to live for half a billion years now. They have sorted out how to keep going with the environment, and this is why they have sustained this long. This is a period of great insanity to exceed the imagination of people who arrive from every corner of the world to have a glance at these crabs. Their arrival is mostly common in the Delaware Bay region, because this region holds the most population of these crabs. Various surveys are done by researchers, mostly in the night every year, so that they can have an exact population of these crabs. These crabs aren't only found on beaches, but no matter where they find stagnant water, they perceive it as a perfect place to escalate their population. The sand quality is a crucial element during fertilization, which needed to be moist with water so that these crabs could dig in it and lay around four to 5,000 eggs. The sand should be dried at the same time so that minuscule holes are developed for the supply of oxygen. The crabs lay between 20,000 eggs in a batch of four to five. These crabs produce various products for the pharmaceutical industry. Before using the products, the crabs are tested by taking their blood sample for the detection of bacteria because these can result in severe consequences like fever and maximumly death even. So this is why these tests are cautiously done in the labs to ensure a high level of certainty. After acquiring the liquids that are used in pharmaceutical products, the crabs are then set free in the spaces where they were captured. The mortality rate of these crabs is around 30% during the test. 